Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadaria and today we are going to study about Euclid's Division Lemma. This is the first theorem of CBSE class 10th chapter number 1 real numbers and one of the most important theorems you can say so that we are going to study Euclid's Division Lemma. Given positive integers a and b there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a is equal to bq plus r where r is greater than or equal to 0 but less than b so you are not going to understand anything out of this statement but let me explain this properly given positive integers a and b means they had given you two positive integers and the name of that two integers are a and b same way we are supposing two positive integers suppose two positive integers are there 38 and 5 two positive integers a and b are given to you there exist unique integers q and r satisfying a is equals to bq plus r so out of this two you are getting other two numbers q and r so how you can get it let me tell you if you will divide this divide 38 by 5 so you will get quotient and remainder so that will be your q and r given positive integers a and b there exist unique integers q and r so this two other integers we will get how divide 5 7 are 35 and the remainder is 3 so from this two this is your a this is your b we are getting two other integers q that is 7 and remainder is 3 so from two integers we are getting two other integers q and r we are getting and representing this as a is equals to bq plus r so how we can do this look here here 38 is divided by 5 and we are getting quotient 7 and remainder 3 so can i write this as 38 is equals to 5 into 7 35 5 7 is 35 plus 3 equals to this so this is the same form as euclid's division lemma here we are getting integers here they are taken variables so let me write them actually this term is your a your divisor that is b and your quotient that is q and the remainder is r so you can write down this as a is equals to bq plus r so this is the representation of euclid's division lemma now what is this last line where r is greater than or equal to 0 but less than b so here you can see you are getting remainder 3 so every time every time you will get remainder starting from 0 but less than your divisor whatever divisor is there less than that so your divisor is 5 so your remainder will be 0 1 2 3 or 4 out of this you will get any one as your remainder so you can write down that the remainder is equals to 0 or greater than 0 but less than your divisor that is 5 so here your divisor is b so this is the representation please keep in keep this in mind equal to is also there generally sometimes in mcqs they will ask you this but student forget to see this sign zero so zero is there so zero is equal to or less than r when r is less than b so this way you can understand euclid's division lemma guys thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much all the students of india usa canada uk australia and other countries can join me for more videos